the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Oklahoma State heads to Texas A&M this Saturday, and Gina Mizell joins us on the phone. Gina, a really interesting point of emphasis is going to be protecting the quarterback, whether you're OSU or uh, uh, Texas A&M. Talk about that matchup. What is OSU facing in terms of keeping Brandon Whedon on his feet back there? Well, Texas A&M, even without Von Miller, who obviously was such a fantastic player for them um, last year in the number two pick in the NFL draft, um, they actually lead the nation in sacks per game. They're uh, getting getting 5.5 sacks per game, and most of that's been coming from the defensive line, um, not necessarily the linebackers. So, again, you always talk about the matchup, you know, in the trenches, the offensive line versus the defensive line. So that appears to be kind of a strength versus strength uh, matchup in this game because obviously – OSU's offensive line has been so strong, has been you know so grounded and in protecting Brandon Whedon and in opening hole, holes for uh, the running backs. So that'll be something to watch. It, is uh, if Texas A&M can get pressure on Brandon Whedon, force him to, to make some bad throws, um, or just you know force him to, to out, of the, out of the pocket or, or anything like that. So that'll be something that um, I'll be interested in watching, just because. Uh, you know, it's going to be a strength versus strength matchup. Now you talk about Texas A&M's ability to sack the quarterback. If you look at the other other way, when Texas A&M has the ball and OSU's on defense, OSU's defensive line, still that question mark of how good ultimately will they be, are they going to be able to get pressure on Ryan Tannehill this year? Well, no one has so far. Um, on, on the complete opposite side of the, the spectrum, uh, A&M has not given up a sack this season. Obviously, they've only played two games where OSU has played three, so that, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. But, yeah, again, we, we've talked about it, I feel like, over and over and over again to the point where I almost sound like a broken record. But um, this is going to be a big test for this defensive line when you when you look at you know both how they can stop the run with, with Cyrus Gray and then if they can get pressure on Ryan Tannehill because if he has time, to throw the ball, he's got you know a lot of weapons out there. Obviously, Jeff Fuller is a fantastic receiver, so um, this will be a big test. I mean, the the line has played well, with the exception of you know the Tulsa game and, and maybe the second half where it was 2:30 in the morning and and you know a lot of other factors uh, go into that. But this is going to be a big thing to see if uh, this line can uh, can get pressure on Ryan Tannehill if they can stop Cyrus Gray, and that I think is a uh, really going to decide uh, who wins this ball game. All right, great stuff, Gina. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.